Hello guys. I feel like it's been a minute. I mean, it's been a minute for me since I've filmed. Life is very busy, but we're here. And I'm actually getting ready, like real time, like actually getting ready to go out today. So I thought I would film and do that with you guys because I'm probably going to be too tired to film tomorrow. So here we are. So it's going to be like a full glam. I'm going to my friend's birthday and then I've got another birthday. So on one day, I'm going to try and make it to both. Outfit, I'm obviously not wearing my avatar t-shirt. Outfit, I'm gonna go for, this is what I'm gonna wear, and then I've just got some like flared trousers. So yes, that's what we're doing today. So relax as always and enjoy the video. I mean, it's half 12. My friend wants me to be at hers by two. My hair is done. I'm obviously gonna just touch it up and just make sure it's fine for when I go out. I've just waved it. Um, it's been washed like two days ago so it's still kind of fresh hair i'm gonna try and film a reel while i'm filming this again as well i feel like when i just do my eyes first i feel like i take way too long so yeah i tried not to pick just like my holy grails like what i always use for going out i tried to mix it up a little bit and just use some different things just so you guys weren't completely bored i've also but obviously i've chosen products that like i love so much and that i just trust i'm gonna see how this goes um Skin prep wise, um, I've just washed my face. I did use an exfoliating toner. I'm just gonna do my brows, by the way. Um, I used my exfoliating toner, which I use one from Youth to the People. I really like that one. Um, so I used that and then I literally just put moisturizer on. That's all I've put on today. I'm not gonna do sunscreen just cause I feel like there's gonna be photos today. Hey guys, this is a lot of socializing for me. So I hope you're proud, we'll see. Um, if I can make it to the other event as well. So I did like trim my eyebrows and I cleaned them up with those little twinkle razor things that I usually shave my face with. So I've cleaned them up so they're not wild. Literally the first today. So obviously I've got two birthdays today to attend to. Then next weekend I've got um, a friend that I work with. Um, it's her birthday, it's a surprise party. It's actually my first surprise party. Her partner's organized it for her. And yeah, I've never been to a surprise party before. So that's really cool. Cause she's, I've been, I was speaking to my friend like at work about it. I was like, oh, what are you doing like next weekend? And stuff. And she was like, oh, my partner's got something planned but I don't know what it is. And I'm just like, <laughs> I know. Um, so that's cute. And then the weekend after it's my partner's birthday. There's a lot of Aries around here. <laughs> So I'm gonna do the, so I usually always use my Smashbox primerizer, but I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Power Grip primer today. Smashbox is always my go-to. However, I am gonna be out for a long, long time today. I mean, I'm gonna aim to, cause it's literally the afternoon right now. And then I'm gonna be out for the whole night. I should be anyway. So I really need everything to stick on, which, Smashbox primer does do that for me, but this primer is just extra, extra sticky and it's nice and hydrating as well. I'm gonna use this. And I still haven't tried the pink one, like the one that's got niacinamide in. What else is new? I feel like this, I feel like I haven't filmed in a while. It has been really difficult for me because I've just been really tired with work and everything. So um, I have still been active on my Instagram. So if you don't follow that, I've still been posting reels and stuff. So I am over there. Um, I've started doing my Zodiac series again, which <laughs> again, because I did it last year and then I just kind of stopped. I got lazy. I think I stopped at Cancer. Um, like I did like a makeup inspired by the season. Um, so I usually always start with Aries because to me that's just the beginning of the Zodiac. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury, by the way. I don't usually put this one all over my face because it's I usually just use this for bronzer, but I just want to be very, very glowy today. And the front, oh, what is wrong with this? Why is it not closing? And the foundation I'm going to use is a bit matte. So hence why I'm going to use this. So yeah, like I was saying, um, so I started doing the Zodiac series again. I've been doing it on Reels. So I've done my Aries one, if you want to go see it. I had to do something for my YouTube channel, like Zodiac related again, but I just couldn't, I don't know what else to do. Cause I don't just want to do the same makeup look again, like for YouTube. And no one really watches tutorials anymore. I don't think that's what, I don't know if that's what people like anymore. So, okay. So now we are nice and glowy, glowy. What else? Oh my God, I had my first pay since I've started working at my new job. I had my first pay yesterday. So there is gonna be 
a lots of new makeup on the way because I already ordered <laughs> quite a bit already for some reason I decided to order three eyeshadow palettes don't know why but I'm definitely gonna do a like test a new makeup re um, soon I tried to order the Rare Beauty they've now released tinted lip oils I was so excited about that um, but they sold out so quickly because they came on sale I think they launched on the day before I got paid, so I had to wait a day. They all sold out, but I managed to get one. It wasn't the shade I wanted, but I still, I still, I still got one, so that's what counts. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is, because I've got like, I've pretty much got a full face, I think, so I think I'm gonna test the makeup out for like a week, and then do a video for you guys, like, giving you my thoughts, so I've like tested it, so it's a bit useful for you. Let's get onto foundation, and let me actually start filming. I also have this giant spot here that's appeared and on my chin. I, oh, and also here, like my skin was nice and clear on my period and then after it went, then I got all my breakouts. Yeah, I'm actually gonna conceal the spots first. So I'm just gonna use my shape tape. That's what I'm gonna use under my eyes today. So hopefully this can mask them. I'm so excited for my makeup orders to arrive. It's been a while, it's been a hot minute. I ordered a few new things and then that's pretty much it because I am being sensible with my money, which I have to be, but I still like to treat myself, you know. Concealer done. Right, so for foundation, I do usually always, always, always go with my Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Beautiful Skin Foundation because that's probably my favourite. I think it is like my holy grail to be fair at the moment so far that I've ever tried. Um, but I'm going to go in with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin, like the blurring foundation balm. I used this recently and I loved how my skin looked. We're gonna put aside the um, the cement smell. But yeah, I, re I do really like this. So I haven't worn it for a long time though. So we'll see how it lasts anyway and I can update you guys. So yes, let's go in with this. I love how this feels like, and it still scares me how it just adapts to whatever skin tone. Like it's weird. I'm gonna use my favorite It Cosmetics brush, which probably needs to be cleaned. Actually, all my brushes are due a clean, to be honest. Okay, this foundation with that Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, that is a combo. Love, love that so far. Oh, I forgot to say grab your beverage. I have just got water because I'm gonna try and hydrate as much as I can because I'm gonna be drinking from quite early on, aren't I? So I'm trying to hydrate as much as I can. Let's do concealer, shape tape. I'm using the Morphe V108 brush. I love this for concealer. Also, Morphe are really confusing me. They are a brand that are really confusing me at the moment. And you know why? Because I'm pretty sure they were going bankrupt. Like, remember when they like laid off like all their employees, not all of them, but all, most of their employees, like, and gave them like no notice and all that. But I swear they've just launched like, or they've announced that they're launching a new eyeshadow palette, which by the way, if you haven't seen it, it looks exactly like a tooth a Too Faced palette, like the actual the actual like palette component. It looks exactly like a Too Faced palette, and that's literally what all the comments were when I saw it on the Trend Mood Instagram. I cannot believe them, but yeah, it's weird that they're still making makeup if they're bankrupt. Okay, so I'm gonna powder my under eyes and then we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I use one of my favorite loose powders. This is the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass um, loose powder. It's stained yellow from when I used like a yellow eyeshadow to make an eyeliner and the mixing media must have just stained this. So um, yeah, it's not like, I don't know, Cheeto dust or something. Right under my eyes there. And then a little bit. Oh my God, there's an ambulance. It's never a normal day around here. I'm gonna brush this away. I don't think I need to bake bake. I'm just gonna dust it away from 
I feel like it's been so long since I've done like a full glam like get ready with me where and it's been where I'm actually gonna be going out as well. Eyeshadow Prime, I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty one. It is my favorite, so we're using the Holy Grails for... All right, so I haven't actually planned my eyeshadow yet. I don't know what to do. I just know I'm gonna use my Disco Fox palette from <laughs> Il Maquillage, the Kathleen Lights palette that she made. I'm still obsessed with it and I haven't like worn it like out on an outing yet, so I kind of want to see how it performs. Well, I mean, I know how it performs. It's beautiful, it's great. But I haven't worn it like out out. Kim, these shimmers, definitely. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna keep it quite neutral. <laughs> Sorry. I really need to clean my brushes. That's what I need to do this week. I'm gonna take this shade here. transition shade. I'm going to take a more precise brush like this. Am I? No, I will not actually. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and take my favourite brown, this one. line and just connect it to the outer corner I don't know whether I should make a drink I got some um I went out with um, some friends like a few weeks ago and I've never never knew this existed don't know if it's new or not I don't really drink a lot but there was orange gin and my friend I tried one of my friends when she ordered it it was so nice so she got like the orange gin with like a lemonade and it literally just tasted like orange juice. Like it tasted like Fanta a little bit, just like fizzy, fizzy orange. It did not taste like alcohol whatsoever. It was, it was so nice. So I bought some yesterday, but I haven't actually made a drink yet. Um, so I don't know whether to make one because it's so early though. It's literally like 1 p.m. It literally is 1 p.m. I don't know whether to make a drink yet because I was just gonna start off slow, start with cider first, and then build up as it gets a bit later on, but I don't know. We'll see. I think I might actually take the first shade I use and just put that all over my lid. Cause these shades I'm gonna use as like toppers. So I might just use my finger and just pat this like that. Just over, blend it in. These literally feel like velvet. I cannot. Nice, nice. Okay, right. Now I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna take this deep brown here. I'm very glad that the rain has stopped though. Very grateful for that. Oh, are you actually kidding me? I literally just said it. This is video proof and it has actually just started to rain. Universe, what did I do wrong? Huh? What did I do? Tell me. Brown in the outer corner. I'm sorry if you can hear the sound of someone literally dying. My boyfriend's playing his game in the living room. I can hear someone getting beat up on that game. He's playing the um, The Last of Us game, which they've just done the TV show, obviously based on the game. And I've seen him play it, and I wanted to watch it because I love Pedro Pascal. He's like the main character in it. Uh, he's one of the main characters in the show, and he I just love him. He's definitely one of my favorite actors. And it's so good. It's actually a really great TV show. I think even if you're not into the game, it's basically about zombies, like the end of the world kind of thing. Zombies take over and just like human survival. 
Um, and then obviously it's got like a different storyline with a younger girl in it as well. And it's great. It's great. It's so good. I think even if you haven't seen the game or you have no interest in the game, you don't care. But if that's just something that you're into, I think it's definitely worth watching. It's so good. They've done it really well. And my partner being someone that has played the game, he's very happy with the, how they've done the TV show. Because he said it's literally like playing the game. So it's really good. It's really good. Okay, so that's nicely blended outer corner I keep forgetting to film my reel oh wow yep 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 that's really nice this is giving the it's giving like Natasha Denona that face glam palette giving that a little bit one of the shades in that I like it I like it this the lighting cameras do not do this eyeshadow palette justice it honestly is just so glittery I know you won't be able to see it I don't know why I'm even doing that make sure that that's all blended into the deeper brown Okay, I think that's it. That's what I'm gonna leave it as. I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny brush and just do the lower lash line. No, I haven't. Just to go very, very close to the lash line. We're done with the eyes, mostly. I'm gonna take the Il Maquillage Dark Brown Eyeliner to tight line with. My battery's dying. Let me do that, I'll be right back. Oh my God, what have I done? Okay, I am back. So I just went and finished off the eyes. I've done my mascara, by the way. I used the Rare Beauty mascara today. I love this. This is probably very close to my Too Faced mascara, which is my favorite, but look at those lashes. Look at those lashes. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna do cream and powder for blush and bronzer. So I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. She's my fave. She is still my fave. I hope these people are okay because <clears throat> that's the second ambulance that's come now. I'm hoping they're okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna lightly bronze. I don't wanna do like too heavy with the face to be honest. Because to be fair, I didn't think I was gonna do this much on the eyes, but you know what? It's a birthday, let's we'll we'll get dressed up and to be fair my friend she is absolutely beautiful to start off with um but she'll be wearing like dress heels all that i am not gonna be wearing dress or heel actually i'll wear heeled boots but it's gonna be nice top and pants for me i would if i was just going to hers but just because i'm then gonna meet up with my boyfriend and his friends for the other birthday i don't think their venue's gonna be as dressy uppy so i don't want to walk in there and everyone's like more rare beauty i want to keep it quite simple for blush so i'm just gonna go in with bliss for it i think i'm almost i think i'm running out of this you know because i'm starting to have to scrape this out i never ever would have thought i'd run out of a soft pinch liquid blush this just shows how much i use this so i'll do i feel like bliss is the shade that i can pack a bit more on than i would with any of the other shades I could always do way less than I did. I think because this one's quite light. So this one is easy. Like it will just blend into my skin a lot easier. And I've really been liking just blending the blush kind of into like my brow bone and like the eyeshadow here recently. Don't know why. I'm using the Made by Mitchell brush, by the way. I ordered when I did my, one of my other many makeup orders on payday i ordered another made by mitchell liquid blush and i think well actually it's a highlighter but it's like a pinky one so i feel like it's looking to me like an alternative for the charlotte tilbury their ones because i don't actually like that 
And when I realised that I'm not the biggest fan of the Charlotte Tilbury, like the, those blushes that everyone loves, I'm just thinking. This one from Made by Mitchell looks like a good alternative, so I've ordered that. I've ordered like three different liquid and cream blushes, it's ridiculous. Um, but also, that blush kind of inspired me to do a video. Let me know if you're interested. I'm gonna do like makeup that I wouldn't repurchase or just makeup that I don't actually like that much. So yeah, let me know and I can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of powder bronzer just to kind of add a bit of a glow because the rare blush is a matte. So I'm gonna take one of my old favorites. This is the Be Bold contour kit and it's got the a contour which is too light for me, a highlight I don't have any interest in. And I've just dug my nail into as well. Um, and then I've got, oh my God, the football announcements. Shh. Uh, and then this bronzer, which is nice and glowy. I love this to death. Just to add a bit more shape. Okay, cool. And then for powder blush, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm face palette and I'm gonna take the blush out of here, which I love so much i love this blush to death d04 and then the one i used for bronzer a05 and i've got mascara all over me as we're going out let's let's use an expensive spray for an occasion this is i don't know how you pronounce this brand i'll put it on the screen this one, I don't know how you pronounce this brand. Cool. Okay, see this is the thing, cause I'm not gonna be going out until later now. I wouldn't really be doing my lip. <laughs> don't laugh. It's my favourite lip liner, as we can clearly see. <laughs> LA Girl Cafe. Then um, Artist Couture Saucy Gal. Just as like a little base. And then, I mean, I kind of like this the way it is, but what I was going to do was use this gloss, which is the uh, Kimchi Chic High Key Gloss in Earthy. Let me just put this on, because I felt like doing a gloss today. I don't usually... Okay, we're ready. Put it on. I originally, this is what it looks like. Also, I don't know, do you keep this out? Like it has one of those, it's got like wire in here and it's like that. But it's like, do I keep it in or out? I don't really know. I genuinely have no idea, but I had it tucked in anyway. So I had it like that, so you can't really see it. But I don't really know, I think I might Google it. If that is, that's the get ready with me. I just put this necklace on that my partner got me. I'm pretty sure he got it off Etsy, most likely. It's got rose quartz crystal in it and then it's got the tree of life on it. Uh, rings, my usual rings. Um, oh, I haven't done earrings. I'll go do my earrings, but I don't need to leave for like another half hour, hour -ish. I'm gonna go chill out. I'm probably just gonna get dressed back into my t-shirt until I have to leave. But that is it for the get ready with me, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining me. And let me know what you think of the look, the outfit, what do we think? And yeah, let me know your thoughts as always and I'll see you in my next video.